When SEAL Team 6 took out Osama bin Laden, they had the help of Cairo. Not the Egyptian government, but a specially trained Belgian Malinois like this dog known as Gizmo. As you can see, Gizmo takes his job very seriously. He is one of dozens of dogs trained at American Canine Interdiction in southeastern Virginia. Other breeds include German Shepherds, Dutch Shepherds, and Labrador Retrievers. Like their human counterparts, the dogs go through rigorous training to protect our country and our troops. We've got to get it right 24 hours a day, seven days a week, because bad guys only got to get lucky once. So it's imperative that dogs are properly conditioned and trained. Paul Rusha makes sure the dogs are at the top of their game. Handlers train the dogs in detecting explosives and narcotics on and off leash, tracking, trailing, and patrolling. The dogs are also trained in bite work and criminal apprehension. Renzo here is an 85-pound Dutch Shepherd who's now applying around 600 to 800 pounds of pressure on my arm. Uh, it's got to be a very, very sound dog all the way around because... Uh, the task it's performing is critical to saving lives and infrastructure, safeguarding American assets. Rusha says mediocrity is not an option. He turns to God for help, taking time to pray over the dogs. I'm asking for the Lord's guidance that the dogs get it, that they perform. One of the key areas of performance for dogs trained at a canine eye is explosive detection. Handlers allowed CBN News to watch an off-leash training session. In this scenario, which resembles what happens in Afghanistan, Coco, a chocolate lab, must sniff out a simulated IED or explosive alongside a road before military personnel and their equipment travel down it. The handler looks for a change of behavior in the dog. In this case, once Coco smells the odor of the explosive, she lies down near its location. Uh, I've deployed a couple different groups of Marines, and I told them, they said, do you have any advice for us? I said, yes, trust your dog. What makes dogs like Coco so special is their highly developed sense of smell. They're able to cover a lot of ground in a short period of time to make a hit on a dangerous substance. And to date, no machine on the market can match their olfactory capability or their accuracy. The ability to send them out 250 to 500 yards ahead of the troops to act as a buffer uh, and early warning mechanism. Uh, there's no machinery out there on the market that can do that. Rusha says the dogs are 98 to 99 percent effective, but tragically, in the unpredictable setting of war, lives are lost, both human and animal. A roadside bomb hit Lance Corporal William Billy Krause and his dog Kane in Afghanistan. While being lifted into the medevac, Krause managed to cry out, get Kane in the Black Hawk, before losing consciousness. Apparently, his last words. Both Krause and Kane died. Trainers at AK9 Eyes say the bond between handlers and their dogs is very strong. Senior patrol dog trainer Eric Pavetta served as a canine handler in Afghanistan. His dog also made it back alive. There's no definite that you're going to come back to the, the fob at the end of the night, uh, but knowing that you have your partner standing there next to you kind of gives you a little bit of a better feeling that you're going to make it home. Dogs have been serving with U.S. troops for centuries. It's estimated these four-legged heroes and their handlers saved more than 10,000 lives during Vietnam alone. Sadly, only a small percentage of the dogs who served in Vietnam left that country. None returned to civilian life. In the year 2000, adopting certain war dogs became legal. More than 300 retired war dogs are now put up for adoption every year. For example, private first class Colton Rusk's parents adopted his dog Eli after the death of their son. None of the dogs are euthanized. They all go to good, loving homes. A fitting reward for dogs who truly exemplify what it means to be man's best friend. Each day, we contribute to the defense of this great nation. And at the same time, um, give all praise and glory to God. Mark Martin, CBN News, Cartersville, Virginia.